morning. It's raining. I thought I'd talk to you a little bit this morning about... Um... By the way, this is a new computer, and it does all kinds of things. So I have to be careful. Uh, I'm not the sharpest tack in the box. I was just saying, uh, do you like my voice? It's got a slight accent, does it not? It's a Scottish accent, it is. By golly and crackers. It's also an AI voice. Did you know that? Doesn't it sound good? I'll tell you by golly how I got an AI voice with an accent. But that's for another video. Speaking by golly of video, welcome to the Mindstorm channel. It's the YouTube channel you need to get some cool tips and tricks and money-making ideas for using AI in your daily life. So there I was. Out in the battlefield, grenades popping all around me. It was a battle between Netflix and HBO, now called Max. Which is silly. HBO was cool. Like Twitter was cool. Now it's called X. Did you notice, even though uh, I was obviously created in an AI graphics tool, that I have been in different poses over the last minute? Did you notice? Go back and look if you haven't. This different poses, it's not always been easy, you know. When I was your age, we didn't have different poses. This is all thanks to the miracle, the miracle, I tell you, of what is called consistent characters. In this video, I'm going to show you two amazing AI tools that'll help you create some really great characters and have them posing in different ways or different facial expressions. You can use these ideas for comics or storytelling or like me. You can create talking avatars for your videos or slideshow presentations. OK. Now, the first site we'll be looking at to create consistent characters is a wonderful site called Tensor Art. You can literally spend hours on Tensor Art's site. It's truly a wonder of the ages. They have so many things to play with. For example, you can turn a photo into an epic fantasy or create an anime character from a ready-made prompt that you can modify. One of my favourite things to play with is a mode that will turn your drawings into photos. And it's super easy to use, even for a puckered pickle like me. You can take a drawing, like me for example, and drag it into this box. And in roughly 120 seconds, it will make me into a real person, just like Pinocchio. Oh, my landies and pudding, look at this. For our purposes today, we're going to go over here to the models mode. This will allow you to start from a pre-trained model. This means you can modify the prompt, but the character will stay fairly consistent to what the base model looks like. So I think I'm going to try this nice Pixar looking model. What we want to do is scroll down and choose Remix. I was practicing on the app before I started the video. I made some nice consistent characters. So now, up here, let's see what happens when we type in our prompt. Now you will notice that they have already created a prompt for this model. I would suggest keeping it, but you can do you and be creative if you want. For my purpose, I want to delete the one girl glitter and replace it with an older Scottish gentleman. For the rest of the controls and pull-down menus, you can leave them as they are. Play with it all if you want. Every button and knob will create a slightly different look. Oh golly! One important thing I forgot to add in here, we want to create the character doing something. So for me, I'm going to type in walking wearing red tennis shoes. This is important for a later step. Let's generate and see what we get. Goodness! He is surely Scottish! <laughs> you can download him to your computer. Now, let's change his prompt a bit. Instead of walking, we're going to have him dancing. Oh, jolly bananas! He's not very consistent now, is he? We're going to have to make the prompt more specific. Let's give him white shaggy hair and a beard. There we go. Now we'll change him to running. 
Excellent. Now we are getting somewhere by Jove. Let's try him in a bar. Simply dashing. He's now a consistent character. And the more specific we make the prompt, for example, his red shirt, the more consistent he will become. So go ahead and give a play with Tensor Art. There are so many goodies to play with. And Tensor Art gives you a generous amount of free credits to use. Dan, now our journey takes us into my favourite app, Mid Journey. Truly, Tensor Art is fun, but there is nothing better for imaging than Mid Journey. Look, anybody know who this dude is? Let's start off by making a quick character. Sir, I copied the prompt from the hiker you just saw, and now I'm going to change the hiker to a nice Scottish gentleman. We're off to the races. I think I like uh, this young chap. Now we're going to use him as a character reference. So to speed things up, I'm going to copy his exact same prompt and I will alter the prompt to make him run in and he is scared. And we're also going to do one extra thing. We'll go up and copy his link. And at the end of the prompt, we're going to type in dash dash C-R-E-F. This, my fine fellow human, means character reference. And then we'll paste the character's link in after that, as that is our character reference. OK, then, not too shabby. This time, we're going to copy this full prompt along with the character reference link. We'll paste it in. And at the end of this prompt, we'll add CW, which stands for character weight. It's a scale from 0 to 100. 100 captures the full face, hair and clothes of the character. Lowering the strength to 0 shifts the focus to just the face. So this seemed to work. Here is the original. And the CW prompt seems to have captured the clothing nicely. Oh, fluff and bother. I seem to have spelled Scottish wrong. Oh, the faults of the old. We can even do trickier things. If I copy this image's full prompt and paste it here, then change the prompt a bit. So instead of a photorealistic image, we'll change it to a pencil sketch. Oh, what a beautiful work of art. Well, I hope you found this entertaining and useful. Now go out there and make the world a better place. And remember, age is an issue of mind over matter. If you don't mind getting older, then it really doesn't matter.